Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. All right, these are going to be messages for May 2024 for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading links in the description box. And hello everyone. So let's get into this, Virgo. What is showing up here for you for the month of May? You've got coffee cup, camera, and lightning. Okay. Looks like you have an opportunity to meet and converse with someone. A sense of feeling uplifted, a sense of friendship, savoring the moment, re reminiscing, keepsake, learning from the past, making memories, and a sudden change. So I feel like some of you Virgos are going to have an opportunity in May to um, connect with someone it's very special. Okay, so this could be a friend. This could also, of course, be a romantic partner. Um, I feel like someone is going to show up kind of like out of the blue um, or whether there's conversation about someone showing up out of the blue or someone from your past um, maybe two friends getting together some of you you and a friend getting together talking about the past or someone from the past um, talking about lessons learned this could be with a past person or you and another person having conversations about this but i feel the biggest message is this conversation that you have with either a past person or or another person about someone from the past is going it's not someone that you may have thought of in quite some time so they're just kind of showing up the, that person's energy is showing up and there's going to be some type of conversation um, for some i do feel the strong energy of you connecting with a friend or um yeah a friend who will tell you about a past person that you were romantically involved with in the past um i'm hearing about how much this person loved you that they truly did love you it might be a shock to you you might be like that's unbelievable um that's a surprise uh, I feel like you have some type of an up epiphany in regards to what's being told to you about someone from your past. That is the 90% of this message. For others, like I said, you could be connecting with someone from your past, having conversation, and then saying this to you, okay? Um, and so, yeah, it sounds like two storylines, but there is an energy of whomever this person is, they have learned they have finally learned something and it may be a shock to you shocking news sudden change it's a surprise somebody has learned a lesson all right let's get into this and see a little bit more about this person this past person okay wow the sun they're like sunshine in your coffee cup right um this person it could be a leo Virgo but this person is kind of showing up here from a place of I feel like they've been hidden or you haven't been able to see them or they've just been blocked in the mind you haven't thought about them but I do feel like there's this huge opening up and I feel like this person has come to realize or is coming to realize in May that they need to open up to you and express and like to be completely open and vulnerable whereas they may have been very closed off in the past wow and there's also they want to apologize to you virgo for what <laughs> wow for running away for being sneaky for being deceitful for betraying you for giving up, for not fighting hard enough, for quitting, I'm hearing. Wow, it's a heavy-duty message. So like I said, either they're going to come forward, tell you this, or you're going to hear it from a third party that this is what's going on with this person. All right, so 
could be a water energy, could be um, an air energy, but we'll get into this a little bit more. So I do feel like, you know, Virgo, this is going to be a surprise. This is completely unexpected, shocking to you. I don't know that if you, this is something that you require from someone, you might not. You might have gotten to yourself like to a place where you just figured it will never happen you're never going to get some kind of closure or some type of explanation or an understanding and maybe you've resorted yourself to just not giving a shit anymore and you're just like well I'll give the closure to myself but I do feel like it's going to come forward you're going to find out about this and so either you get a direct apology, communication, apology from this person, or you hear about it from somebody else. All right. You could hear about it from family, people that you have in common with this person. Um, you could hear it from this person that you were in a very close relationship or that you built a life with. Could be this person that we're talking about overcoming obstacles talking this person i do feel like there's a desire here to get this message across to you whether it's directly from them or indirectly through somebody else to try to test the waters and see where you're at with things okay look at this virgo i do feel like this is always the card of surprise this apology coming in for sure and th this person could be Scorpio energy, it could be Taurus, could be Aquarius. This person has had a huge awakening. And I feel like in some regards, they understand now what they need to do. Um, and they want to tell you about this change, this uh, even an epiphany that they've had. Now what you do with that Virgo is uh, entirely up to you. Um, but I do get a sense that whether you want this or not, it's going to come to you. It's going to come to you from somebody here. I feel like this per per person has um, reconciled themselves to realizing that they need to change. And in a huge way, a big way. So Virgo, you have the hermit. So that's your energy <laughs> by default. Um. I feel like there's a Virgo here who may have wanted to reach out to this person, talk to them. You might reserve some type of uh, feeling for this person, but it looks like you've kept to yourself. Maybe you've wondered if you should have, if you should reach out, or maybe in the past wondered if you should have reached out to try to talk to this person. It could be a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it looks to me like you've you've done more sitting and thinking about it versus really reaching out. Or for some, you may have reached out, but in a very minor way, just to kind of see if maybe there could be some type of reconciliation. Because I feel like you too think about this person obviously from your past and maybe like I said you have reached out or you will be reaching out or you will be excited to hear from this person and understand or question and reflect on them wanting to have some type of a reunion and reconciliation with you and really putting in the effort here so you know I do feel like going forward your energy um, it looks like you you may, you may, some of you may want a reunion and some of you may just want the kindness, the forgiveness, the sincerity from this person and for them to really show it. This is a card of like actions speak louder than words. This is putting in the effort here. Some of you might be a little bit excited to hear from this person and this page of wands represents a spark. It's not a huge flame. It's a spark. Um, so it might reignite something in you. And I feel like it's maybe more of a relief to get some type of explanation or closure. Okay. Now, could it be that this person wants to kind of reestablish the relationship 
here with the Four of Wands to make it a bit more committed and structured? Absolutely. Could that be their intention coming forward with this apology? I feel like yes, because they've had a, a, an awakening. This person in May comes to this realization that they need to completely and fully open themselves up, be completely honest without hesitation whatsoever. That um, judgment card always represents a wake-up call, you being their life purpose, and perhaps they didn't recognize that in the past due to immaturity and selfishness. Okay, so... Here's this final decision. This person is making major change in their life. So I do feel like you may want to speak with them or at least hear them out or converse a little bit. But I have to say, and I know some of you and and I I don't I don't I can't judge whether you should or shouldn't. And that's not what the message is here. I feel like, I feel if you want to give this person, masculine or feminine energy, an opportunity to be heard, that's fine. Um, whether or not you should just immediately jump and get back into something with them, that's entirely up to you. Okay, you, know, you kind of, you've been around long enough on my channel, you know how I feel about that. Um, but again, it's entirely up to you. I do see this person, I do see that you will see this person really putting in the effort with the Six of Cups to have this reunion. This person, I feel like you're both nostalgic about each other, or at least will be. I do see a gift or gifts coming to you from this person, a surprise gift as well. Now, as I always say, this could re uh, this could uh, be from a romantic partner, a friend, a family member. Um, so you're going to have to wait and see who this is. Um, for some of you, it could just be a friend that did you wrong and realized that they made a mistake and they want to try to apologize or, or uh, What's the word they're giving me? Re, reunite to, to try to fix the relationship. Sibling as well, but also a lover. Okay. So you have the world. Let's take a look here. I'm going to go into the extended reading after this to see what further down the line this relationship will look like if both of you decide to try to re uh, kiss and make up, so to speak. You have the world. There's major change after a heavy burden. Two people here I feel really needed mentorship or um, others or someone to guide them through a difficult relationship. And whether that's together or separately, I do feel even with the world here, there's a lesson that has been learned. Absolutely. And Virgo, I feel this person comes in. Their lesson is to never burden you in the way they've done before. They put too much on you, expected too much from you, and they've learned that that was a huge mistake. Um, made you carry the weight of the world with the Ten of Wands. That is stress, exhaustion. And I feel like that's the lesson that this person has learned. And your lesson has been, and of course will be for both of you, your lesson, Virgo, is to not take it all on. You took on too much. You gave too much. You, you, you took this person's problems and troubles and tried to lift them up. This person should not have come to you with their problems to try to fix them. They should have gone to their God or their, their source of light. You, your lesson here is that you are not a martyr. You are not responsible for another person. They are responsible for themselves. They are an adult. If this was a child, 
little one, six years old, eight years old, whichever, that's your child. It's a little bit different because you're teaching them, teaching them how to, uh, giving them tough love, you know, and taking their wounds and, you know, kissing their wounds and making it better. That's different. This is not a child. You are not a child. This is not a reading about mother and child or father and child. That's a completely different story. So I do feel like this person definitely wants to come in and tell you about what they've come to realize. You may have just been dealing with someone who was an adult boy or an adult girl where they were extremely immature emotionally immature still acting like a child somebody's grown here you maybe and and this person or just this person in general i mean we're all growing right which is fine but yeah i feel like somebody here put too much of a burden on you and you allowed them to do it why because virgo i feel like you may have felt that if you accepted the burden and were there for them that they would that they would love you back and de devote themselves to you fully, but they didn't because we saw the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. They betrayed you. So whether you want this person back or not is entirely up to you. I see that they do want to talk to you, tell you what's been going on in their life, what they've realized, what they've learned, and if there's a chance that you would take them back or even consider it. Yeah, they'd want that. But I also, like I said, I'm going to go to the extended to see how that will all go if you accept them back. But for now, let's finish the reading. So let's see what their hidden truth is and what they want to say to you, Virgo. So this person feels you were the best thing in their life. It's what they realize now. You don't know what you lost till it's gone. You don't know what you got till it's gone, right? They hid who they really were from you. But I think you kind of saw through the mask. You figured it out, but you brushed the mask aside because you thought, well, they've had trouble growing up. They didn't have good role models. They went through a horrible situation with someone. That's not your burden. That's not your burden to bear. That's them, their burden. They have to heal from that. That's not, you can advise, you can guide, but you can't fix. And this person wishes that they treated you better. Yeah. For some of you, I know, I hear you. It's too late for that. Thanks for the apology, but I hope you do better with the next person. And for others, it was about damn time. You got it together. Now, what are we going to do about this? Just being your, near you is intoxicating, Virgo, this person. Uh, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, you're on their mind, Virgo, heavily. They want to feel that way again. In what way is that? The way you supported them. The way you were there for them. The way you cared about them. The way you band-aided them. But I don't... <laughs> they miss that. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with a band-aid here and there. Um, however, they miss your care. And they miss your devotion and they miss your love and they realize and you came closer than anyone but of course why couldn't you get close enough because they hid who they really were you came close so close that you saw beyond the veil you saw what was going on inside and what was happening within this person and they uh can't stop thinking about you now there we go So, like I said, either they're going to come forward and there's a conversation that will be had and this is what you're going to hear from them, from your person. Looks like the King of Cups, masculine or feminine, but that could just be the energy they come in with, which is um, someone who comes in very nurturing, um, tolerant, showing up as very empathetic, which might be a surprise to you because they weren't like that before. They were selfish, dismissive, perhaps, maybe avoidant. Yeah, they couldn't let you get close to me. They were very avoidant. Very. 
And a lot of this, I feel like, had to do with whatever their issues were in the past. And you know personally, they understand the connection. You know personally what their issues were, perhaps. And you, Virgo, of course, were very patient and understanding. Um, but it just looks like it didn't work out. And now they're either kicking themselves or they're coming, they're having this awakening. That's what the judgment is. A wake-up call, like, oh, shit. Major wake-up call. Let's see what your messages of love are here. Hmm. Children are important to this partnership. So you may have been with this person in the past and you had children with them. And perhaps something occurred with this person after children came. And there was an issue. Or the issue could have been somebody wasn't ready to have children. And another person was. Or things had changed about that. Someone may, might have changed their mind. And it was really important to someone. Or it was two people who wanted children and found out they couldn't have children. And the relationship ended. Because of that. Which, it happens. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's hurtful. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Now, that might have been a reason why two people split up. Because they were misaligned in values and morals. Or, it was a very immature relationship between two people. You're different people now. Or, one person was childlike. Or childish. Not childlike. Childlike is sweet childish is not good but here you go healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting and second chance this relationship somebody wants a second chance at this Virgo what are you going to do so like I said if you agree you want to give it another chance I'll go into the extended there will be a link in the description box below this video so you can see how things may turn out if you do, in fact, give this relationship another opportunity. Oh, but I think with Virgo, it's if they come in sincere and honest. And they're really being truthful. And you can feel that energy, that vibe. Then perhaps that's all it will take for you. But again, you're all different. So it just depends. Let's see what their Chinese sign is here. Okay, yours are theirs. We have Year of the Rooster, Year of the Tiger, Year of the Horse, Year of the Ox, Year of the Snake, Year of the Dog, Year of the Rabbit, and Year of the Dragon. Okay? All right, Virgo. So, starting off with could be a Virgo that you're dealing with, another Virgo. Could be a, a Leo, and I believe we've said that already. Could be a Taurus, and it could be a Capricorn. All right, we do have April being a very significant month for someone here. We have the initial P. We have the initial H. Someone's name is B, B, -a, B, B, E, A, E, B, E, A, excuse me, or Abe, Abraham. Um, so the letter B, we have the letter E, and the letter A, initial A. Someone's initials, double, double initials could be A and A. We have an I, initial I. We have a J. An initial M could be a gym if you okay hold on where did it go my J just disappeared they're showing okay there was an L as well all right we have the initial T so when I call out these initials these could be yours they could be your person Tammy, Tamara, Pebbles, <laughs> Pe 
pebbles. He's a cold-hearted snake. Oh, wait, no, that's... No, that's not pebbles. <laughs> what the heck's her name? I forget. You know what I'm talking about. Um, February, very significant month. Uh, someone is 36. Someone was born in 1988. We have September 17th. August 27th. Significant. Let's get a couple more. All right. September 4th. Someone is 56. August 31st. September 2nd. 1967. Someone is 46. Someone is 50. And September 21st. Okay. Significant birth dates. All right. Let's take a look at your charms. Oh, isn't that funny? I just said, I just sang that snake song. <laughs> maybe that's what you feel about that person. <laughs> or maybe your person was born in the year of the snake, or you are. Uh, so I feel this is significant. Uh, somebody here is shedding old skin. And I'm also noticing they just showed me those little dots. Um, somebody was uh, had a gambling addiction. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Um, they're shedding that lifestyle, you know, and I'm, I'm not talking about somebody that just, you know, plays a lotto or does what I do and goes to bingo as a casual thing with friends. I'm talking about somebody that serious addiction to gambling, um, where they've lost everything, um, lost homes, lost, lost jobs, spent everything in the bank stolen uh, stole money things like that as heavy duty stuff um and i feel like there is this shedding of that old skin okay somebody likes white snake or liked a white snake <laughs> also have um music so there's an attachment to music here there's an attachment to okay we've got a fish bone here fish bone or maybe you just had some fish or you're eating fish and there's nothing but bones left over you somebody might be fishing or is a fisherman and is just not doing so well and hasn't been doing well um sometimes i think fishing is the equivalent of gambling isn't it it's so exciting for some guys because they never know what they're going to get and they just keep trying to get that one big that one big fish um Okay, and I'm just hearing, um, this is a, this to me is a vanilla, they're saying vanilla taffy. I don't know what that means, it just vanilla taffy, or, uh, it doesn't feel like a lollipop, it's, it's a vanilla, it's vanilla, a vanilla taffy. There's also, um, there was a little baby I see that was born who's very, very pale skin, <clears throat> pale skin baby very light skin baby okay maybe um somebody uh, might be connected to um what's it called is it um people that don't have melanin in their skin at all like zero uh i forget what that's called um is it albinism i don't remember maybe not um yeah but they're they're giving me like a very very light skinned born very light skinned it's also a sunflower. And you know what's interesting? I heard the other day, um, if you plant sunflowers, sunflowers absorb radiation. <laughs> um, so I guess that's good to know. And N-U-C-L-E-A-R war. But um, there's something here. with There's a connection to sunflowers. Someone has a connection to sunflowers. Sunflowers and honeybees. Yes, there's a connection. Oh, and there's something going on here with a thyroid. Somebody has um, um, a nodule on their thyroid that they need to take care of. I'm just hearing that. You might, you or someone else uh, might have many. There might be a multinodular thyroid that needs either needs to be checked on or taken out or dealt with in some way and oh i love this <clears throat> virgo you're guarding your heart and this is really good this is an energy of guarding your heart or keeping your heart protected from 
thieves especially a thief of heart it looks to me i feel like this message is keep that heart guarded um, and don't give the key to anyone unless you feel as if you can trust them the same way you wouldn't just give a key to a stranger to come into your home home is where the heart is don't give just anyone the key to enter into your heart unless you feel absolutely safe and you can trust them and they make you feel like you are the only one in the world for them otherwise don't waste your time all right um a clock gun isn't that what this is or is it a drill i don't know what kind of tool that is i'm not really up there on the tool but somebody really likes caulking if you know what i mean <laughs> i saw something funny the other day where for a woman and for maybe for some men um no one understands for a woman how much intentional emphasis she will put on the word caulk when she goes into the home depot <laughs> saying she's looking for some caulk 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 c-a-u-l-k I'm, I'm looking for some where's the caulk <laughs> could you imagine where's the caulk at I'm looking for some cack. I guess if you're from Boston or you have like a really uh, accent that changes that, it's okay. To, no one will know. But if you're looking for the caulk, I don't know. I guess Home Depot is a place to go, right? Maybe somebody's got a connection to Home Depot. I, just Lowe's, some hardware store. I don't know. Some of you might be in that position or someone you know is just a real, they're just a real, real caulk face. <laughs> I'm, I'm stupid I really I like I'm stupid right now okay I'm gonna go finish my coffee I'm gonna go make this uh, extended reading to see how this is gonna turn out for you and uh, this person should you decide that you want to hear them out and see where things go and the link will be in the description box below price for that uh, reading is 11 11 that's it no more no less you can click on that purchase it and it will download directly personally to you all right, you guys, so hope you enjoy this. I will leave it here, and we'll see you all back here tomorrow, tomorrow. And tomorrow, we're going to take a look at how this person, or how your person feels you versus them, okay? All right, okay, okay? All right, you guys, have a great night, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Love you, bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.